Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's Hot Pot King Carter here, the Super Mini YouTube. It's time to get into the NBA draft for 2011. Now, I'm projected to go number eight, right? To the Detroit Pistons. Mind you, I gave those guys the worst answers they were looking for. And I thought that, you know, I was projected to go to the Washington Wizards. But it is what it is. Now, for me... I'm a definite confident shooter for, for everybody to see. 34-4, 1-2-1. One, Come on, man. I can shoot the lights out now. I got a high basketball IQ. Now, I try to make something happen around the basket, and I do what I do. But they said that I'm kind of confused on my own abilities, but it is what it is. Now, here, I'm showing you guys the top. You know what? The, the whole first round. Fuck it. I'm going to go through the whole first round for you guys, show you everybody that's supposed to be getting uh, drafted and all of that. And we're going to do what we do. Now, um, Jimmer Fredette, he's supposed to be going number 10. But I gave that dude hell. <laughs> I'm just saying, man, I don't think Jimmer Fredette is good on defense at all. You know, he could shoot the lights out, you know, but he didn't show me nothing in the showcase. But it is what it is. All right, now, Joe Patterson, that dude had 22. Goodness gracious. Look at these people. These people didn't even get no tick. They not, they didn't even play and they supposed to be going in the first round. Come on, man. Oh, my goodness. 2K, I don't know what y'all be doing. Plus, y'all got these generated faces. Y'all be killing me, man. But uh, let's get into the NBA draft, you guys. I'll be right back. Good evening and welcome to the 2011 NBA Draft. Tonight we celebrate a new class of basketball talent that has made its way to the NBA. Their dedication and hard work and that of their families has paid off and this moment is the next step in their promising young careers. It is also a time of extraordinary optimism and hope for the fans of our teams as they look for yet additional great players to make their teams better. The selections that are made tonight will be viewed by millions of NBA fans around the world in more than 200 countries as they make their way to become NBA players. Everyone is ready, so let's get started. With the first pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Kyrie Irving from Duke University. With the second pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Derek Williams from the University of Arizona. With the third pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Utah Jazz select Ennis Cantor from Turkey. With the fourth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Tristan Thompson from the University of Texas. With the fifth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Toronto Raptors select Nick Brown from Boston College. With the sixth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Washington Wizards select the 23-year-old small forward from Villanova University. Yeah, I'm back. All right, here we go, you guys. 2.63 mil for two years. My contract is non-negotiable. It's all good. When it expires, I'm going to be at negotiating for every single dollar. That means when I get to the table, I'm going to want what I want. And they're going to have to give it to me because I'm going to be the man. <laughs> oh, uh, shout out to Wale, man, for that crazy song, Chain Music. Um, the instrumental y'all are listening to right now is, of course, Chain Music itself. You know I had to give y'all some nice lyrics, man. Come on. Why not come to Washington and get inducted by my man Wale? Let's get it. 
All right, now, you know they already want to give me this little billboard. We already seen this before. It's an endorsement. Now, um, for the endorsements, I'm not going to be doing it like I did for my athletic point guard because, of course, you guys already seen them. What I'll probably do is at the end of my rookie year for uh, my small forward, I'll just, you know, make a video on everything, all of my endorsements, my attributes, and all of that. Just to, you know, wrap things up instead of, you know, coming out with a video every single day or, you know, six videos a day, whatever. But um, what I do want to do is I want to tell you all um, one thing about my small forward is I've played a few games with him. Right now, I'm probably about 13 games and I'm starting, by the way. And I think they're right. You know, the future has arrived. Um, I took Rashard Lewis spot. Now, the thing about Richard Lewis, he's getting a little bit of tick while Andre Blatch is out. Yeah, he's out on injury, so it is what it is. Um, let's hurry up and get out of here. I want to show you guys a few things. Oh, yeah. Why not share this? Why not share this? <laughs> this oh, um, let me tell you, all when I share these messages, they do go to my Twitter. So definitely follow me on Twitter if you want to, you know, get the quickest updates on my any any of my players because uh, 2K Sports updates everything I do. Now, the first game will go against the Nets. I got my suitcases on, right? But what I want to do is I want to go to my skill points. I want to show you guys what I put on after I make up my shoe. Now, the thing about my shoes is I like the standard colors of my suitcases, but I want to make them the team colors. Um, first, I'm going to do them in red just to see how they pan out. And then, you know, everything should be good for probably a game or two. But uh, eventually, I'm going to end up changing them to the game color. I might even change the shoe. You know, I might I might sport different shoes every different game, you know. <laughs> Come up with a few videos talking about different Jordans, different uh, LeBrons, KDs, Kobe's, whatever. Just because I can, you know. <laughs> Why not waste a little bit of time, you know, talking about some of the best basketball sneaks and casual dress wear sneaks out there. You know how many pictures I've seen on Twitter of people posting the MJs? Oh my goodness, Twitter was looking like Instagram out there. Oh, that's an iPhone reference. <laughs> for all you people that don't got iPhones, for all you droids out there, I'm sorry for y'all. Y'all don't got the best apps out here. I'm telling y'all right now. <laughs> Go pick yourself up an iPhone. If you a Sprint, come on, man. Don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself. That's real talk. All right, now, um, one thing I want to get into real fast. Let's see. Now, attributes. You already know what I'm shooting for, y'all. I want to dunk on people. Straight up. I'm spending all my skill points for the for my first 10 games. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. It took me entirely 10 games to get my dunk up to an athletic guard. So that means now I'm dunking on people. So what I'm going to do is for my first video for my small forward, I'm going to make a compilation of my first, like maybe first five to seven games. So you guys can see what, how I was doing, the the do's and don'ts, the rage. I'm just going to have it all up in one video. Then I'll start posting all of my key games as the season goes on. You know, because um, I feel as though since I did a My Player already, it seems to me like everybody wants to see a certain thing. So what I will do for y'all, I'm going to do star matchups, of course. I may do rival games, you know, if it's up against a star, but mostly... You know I'm going to be doing the East versus West Conference. Like, come on. Who doesn't want to see me against Kobe or me against Durant? You know, stuff like that. And, of course, you already know if, Le if LeBron come to town and we get blown out, I'm going to show the footage. So, from now on, if I lose bad, I'm going to show the footage because it's a lot of mistakes that 2K does in order for to make us lose. You know, and it's not my fault. It's not, it's not your fault. It's just what happens. You know, and it is what it is. Now, um, let's see. Let me begin this drill real quick. Now, I want y'all to think clearly. What jump shot do y'all think that is? Because a lot of people have been asking me in my last, what, three videos. Hey, what's your jump shot? I just came out with the creation vid, y'all. So if y'all don't know what it is, just go to the creation vid. Check it out. You know, the jump shot works perfectly. Um, I get a perfect release most of the time. Oh, also, in, in all of my games, let me, let me get into this. When I'm shooting, you will see the little green release bar. And I will be trying to, you know, get the percentage bar up. So you'll see like the A plus and the green shot feedback and all of that. Also with my uh, free throws as well. Um, also, 
a lot of people saying, um, are you going to play on Hall of Fame for this my player? Of course I am. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to build my guy to about 70, and I'll bump it up all the way to Hall of Fame for every single game, win or lose. It don't matter to me. You know, coming in playing on Hall of Fame is real easy. It's just that you get frustrated at your team the most. You know, you still do you. You know, 30, 5 and 5. But when you lose that game by 12 to 20, it pisses you off and I'm just saying it does so I'm um, here I got 2300 skill points so far up oh, make that 2475 so I have gotten the golden star this is my first time shooting it up with the small forest so you already know what that means my J looks great um, I'm gonna be showing it off in the league of course it ain't about nothing um, let's hurry up and get these seconds down to the end real fast get this video over with um, this is IKC signing out though. Um, thanks for watching these videos, you guys. I appreciate it a lot. That offensive clutch, I'm sick about that. I wanted a uh, plus one shot medium, but it's all good. This is IKC signing out, y'all. Peace.